Hey guys, we're up in Big Bear, we're in the snow, and we're going to barbecue, so stick around. Alright, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. This is the channel that shows you good backyard barbecue recipes. We take you on interesting barbecue crawls, and we have delicious dishes that we'd like to share with you. Alright, so we found ourselves in that awkward weekend between Christmas and New Year's, and we heard that there was a big storm that came into Big Bear. We were just a few hours away, so we decided, hey, let's go up there, enjoy the snow a little bit. And then we had that little itch to barbecue outdoors. So we decided to stay an extra night, and we did not bring any barbecue gear with us at all. I didn't even bring my regular camera, so this is uh, from my cell phone. We'll be working with what we have. We did bring some leftover brisket from a previous cook and that prime rib, four bone ribeye roast that we did Christmas day. We're gonna warm that up as kind of a treat, but we're gonna do it outdoors and we're gonna do it on a barbecue grill. Okay, so what I did here is I, I built a little bit of a makeshift uh, TP with some foil, a mound of charcoal and a little bit of paper from the charcoal bag that's going to go back into the center of this TP here and I've got a little tiny chunk of log starter that's going to kick that off and give me the effect I hope of having a regular charcoal chimney because I didn't even bring that with me and the charcoal brand that I decided to get is a mesquite in the charcoal and um, I wanted to get what little smoke I could out here now, since we're doing leftovers that have already been smoked, I'm not really uh, needing a whole lot more smoke, but I just wanted to add to the flavor. Okay, hoping for the best. So I changed the tent a little bit, had more of a breeze coming from uh, this direction, so I kind of tented it a little bit more. And uh, got a nice little flame going there. And it's starting to uh, catch some of the surrounding coals. I'm going to watch it very carefully, but I think we're on our way. All right, that's looking pretty good. Time for a tasty beverage. All right, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm not going to bother cleaning that grate because uh, we've got some foil and we're really just reheating meat. So that grate will come in handy just to basically hold the uh, foil that we put the meat in. All right, locals. All right, so uh, hey, baby. So what kind of what kind of meat we got cooking? Well, we've got our leftover prime rib with those nice little ribs in it. We're gonna put those on the grill, right? It's actually not cooking. <laughs> we've already cooked it. But okay, we'll, just... well we're gonna warm it up. Yeah, we're okay, gonna... we're gonna grill it up and we're gonna grill that warm it. up. And we're gonna put some uh, um, brisket on there too. So this is the cabin we're staying at. Um, it's a cute little. I don't know, studio size cabin. You know, it's not bad. Size kitchen, a big bathroom. It's got a fireplace. And as you can see, you know, it's got outdoor grilling. We're definitely going to take advantage of that. But uh, oh, you're so you already have a beer. You don't need a beer. No, I'm good. Oh. All right. So let's go check on the fire. What you put it in the. Yeah. Oh. I'm pretty sure uh, most country kind of understands when you got. Cool off your beverages. In the ice. Just take a little snow, leave the cooler outside, you're good to go. Go check on the status of the fire or the charcoal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to push that charcoal out, kind of spread it out a little bit, uh, get a nice little even uh, bed of coals, and then grab that meat and start warming it up. All right, so that body of water you see behind me is Big Bear Lake. Pretty cool little lake uh, in the San Bernardino Mountains or San Bernardino County of Southern California. Uh, a lot of people know that Northern California gets snow and they don't know the Southern California. There's there's quite a bit of snow uh, certain times of the year. This year, definitely heavy. And uh, it's a lot of fun being on a lake that doesn't freeze over. Oh yeah, I don't like those things. Well, let's see how uh, 
see, see, see how sassy's come along. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hi, sweetie. Hey, baby. Hi, honey. What you got going on? Well, I took the uh, primer about, so it's sitting here in this big pot. We don't have a lot of utensils here. Nice cold primer. So I'm working with what I got. So since we bought foil, I made some little foil. Whoa, um, look at that. Foil boats. Those are stuffed with cream cheese, a little seasoning. Pick those up at where? Uh, a grocery market. A grocery market. And then here's the brisket we pulled apart when we made our sandwiches the other day. And then in here, I have the rest of our scalloped potatoes, kind of dressed them up with some more cheese. And those are bacon. And then behind you, I set our table. All right. So this this is how we're roughing it in Big Bear, California. Yep, tonight we're gonna have a feast. <laughs> Got a little fireplace ready to go. Got a little cozy little table. I don't know how to put it at the bottom. And of course you can see the uh, grill going out there. So we're gonna go ahead and get the meat ready to put it on. Okay. All right, first thing to go. Uh, these beautiful stuffed jalapenos with some Cajun seasoning and bacon. Alright, so right now I'm just going to set them off here in the corner a little bit. Let them get up to temperature. All right, I had a little bit of cold wind coming from that direction there. I didn't really want a whole lot of that, so I took this piece of foil here, kind of as an air dam. Still left the corner open, and of course the size of the grills, either side gets uh, plenty of air. Okay, these beautifully smoked prime rib pieces are looking so good. So I'm gonna take these couple of bones uh, cut away and we're just going to get those started now I figure they'll take a little bit longer to cook because I got the bone in there so I'll give these a chance to kind of come up to temperature a little bit all right since I don't really need to I don't need to do another sear on that prime rib I'm going to take each piece and just do a nice little wrap up in the foil because that's all it's going to need really. I think it's uh, four and a half hours or so I got on the Weber it was just right. I don't think I need to uh, grill out any of that moisture. We're just going to do it like this, and it'll come out awesome. All right, put that there, put that one there. Except these ribs here, I think these ribs could use a little grilling love. Oh yeah, looks nice. As soon as I get a grill on the other side, I'm going to flip those over. And these... Uh, Stuffed jalapenos are looking okay. Looks like that cream cheese is uh, starting to warm up, it's starting to ooze out. Okay, I'm putting this uh, brisket on there. Okay, so we got our two pieces of prime rib. Got my jalapeno poppers. Got the uh, pulled brisket that I just stuck on here. And since I like my ribs with a little bit of uh, char, I'm just going to leave these on here open for a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe I'm going to wrap them here really quick. Maybe I'll pour in a little bit of 
my uh, belching beaver beer in there to kind of moisten them up a little bit. Okay, got the ribs wrapped now. Cover them up, finish everything off. All right, guys, so sometimes I think Burger King would be a little bit easier than this. But, uh, hey, man, when you're in Big Bear and it's snowing and you got some good leftovers, do leftovers justice and grill them up. All right, guys, we're going to get ready to eat now. So just to recap, we're in Big Bear, and it's about 20 degrees outside, snowing, and we, uh, we brought up some leftovers with us, and we had to grill them up. So let's show you what the plate looks like. Okay, we got the smoked prime rib with uh, one of the bones there. Let me get a piece, a little shot of that. I grilled it up there with the charcoal, give it a little sizzle. Got some uh, delicious scalloped potatoes that Sassy made up. Got some of our pulled brisket here. Um, and then we got some stuffed bacon wrap, Cajun seasoning, jalapenos right there. So I guess this is kind of a triple threat, huh? Mm -hmm. The only thing missing really is, uh, well, I was going to say pork, but the bacon wrapped jalapenos covers the pork. So I think we got the brisket, prime rib. And uh, we're ready to eat. Simple little seas uh, simple little table here. There we go, guys. So happy New Year, and uh, thanks again for watching. Getting all the meat ready. Hey, Sassy, you there? Not sure if she's there or not. Knock, knock. Not sure if the Sassy Kitchen Queen is out there or not. Not sure if she. Hey, baby. Uh oh. Go, get up. Come on.